Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Tuesday, June the 11th, 2019, and this is episode 3046. My name is Bruce Turner, glad to have you with us today. Today's episode is titled, Make a Difference. Stay tuned. So, as I've mentioned before, I have this wonderful privilege of uh, serving with the Church Online team at Life Church, Pastor Craig Rochelle out of Edmond, Oklahoma. It's amazing how God is moving in 33 campuses across the United States. Two weeks ago, Pastor Craig began a new series called The Good Work, and it's all about the book of Nehemiah and Nehemiah and the good work that he did in rebuilding the walls of the city of Jerusalem that had been torn down. It's an amazing series. And the message this last weekend was so inspiring to me. And I I want you to receive some of that inspiration for your day and for your week and for your life. The title of the message was do the work, make a difference. I mean, think about that. You know, it's true. You and I make a difference in the lives of people around us. You have the opportunity to make a difference in your children and your spouse and your co-workers. You have an opportunity to make a difference with your neighbors and you have an opportunity to make a difference with total strangers. I, yesterday I was so inspired by the message when I would drop a passenger off, off of an Uber ride as they got out of the car, I'd say, have a great day, make a difference. I could tell by the way they looked at me that they were inspired. I dropped off a young lady who works at JC Penney's. I said, make a difference. She said, thanks for that. You can make a difference. Isn't that amazing? Now I'm going to post the link to the message in the description and it's just the, the message part. So about 34 minutes, but so worth your time. Trust me, you will be glad that you spent the time with that particular message. I don't often post links to message. I I talk about different messages, but when I post a link, trust me, it's something that I believe that will bless you. You see, Nehemiah had a burden. He was broken hearted about the condition of his city. And one of the truths that Pastor Craig shared is that the burden you bear often reveals the calling you'll embrace. What breaks your heart? What is it that you see that you feel like that with a broken heart, you could be motivated to serve with passion and make a difference? Now, in order to do that, here's the main points of the message. For those of you who won't take the time to listen. Yeah, you know who you are. (laughs) One is to seek God faithfully, to seek God faithfully. One of the amazing things about the book of Nehemiah that I've always enjoyed is how many times he prays. You see, if you're going to make a difference, you need to have God's wisdom, God's direction in that process. Number two, define the vision clearly. Know what it is that breaks your heart. Know what it is that you want to do and define that vision clearly. If you can't define it, you can't do it. Number three, make plans carefully. You know, when he was sitting before the king And uh, the king asked him, how long will your journey take? And when will you get back? It pleased the king to send me. So I set a time. I also said to him, if it pleases the king, may I have letters to the governors of Trans-Euphrates so they will provide me safe conduct until I arrive in Judah. And may I have a letter to Asaph, the keeper of the royal park, so he will give me timber to make beams for the gates of the citadel. You see, he had plans. If you're going to make a difference, you make plans carefully. And then number four, inspire people passionately. When Nehemiah got there and he was ready to start, 
He said to the people there, You see the trouble we're in. Jerusalem lies in ruins, and its gates have been burned with fire. Come, let us rebuild the wall of Jerusalem, and we will no longer be in disgrace. John Wesley said, Light yourself on fire with passion, and people will come from miles to watch you burn. Nehemiah inspired passionately the people there, and they got the work done, and they made a difference. Yes, there was opposition. Yes, there was a persecution, but they made a difference. And so I want to ask you today, I want you to think about this right now. How are you going to make a difference today? You will make a difference. What kind of difference will you make? Be a difference maker. Father, thank you so much for the opportunities that await us all. It's 7.51 a.m. Eastern Time here in Virginia, Lord. And I thank you for the opportunities that I'm going to have today to make a difference in somebody's life. It could be something so small, so little, just a few words spoken in sincerity. But Lord, we thank you for that. Help us to be your difference maker in our world today. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Have a fantastic day. Hey, listen, it would sure be great for some of you to comment on this episode about an experience you had today making a difference in somebody's life. It could just be a little thing, but a difference is a difference. It's dynamic. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.